Salam and welcome to the Gayana Hindu Dharmic Sabha Kalamilan. This production is brought to you weekly by the Gayana Hindu Dharmic Sabha and I'm happy to be here with you after the most beautiful Diwali celebrations that permeated the country as Hindus and Guyanese observed Diwali 2019. I'm sure you had a blissful Diwali and you enjoyed your Mahalakshmi Puja and lighting of Diyas this year. Synonymous with Diwali in Guyana was the Guyana Hindu Dharmic Sabha's largest, most magnificent, spectacular motorcade, which was on the eve of Diwali. This motorcade this year can be considered very special, as most people considered it not only the biggest, but the best of them all. This year, we had 28 floats that congregated at the Sri Krishna Mandir Camberville and made their way to the LBI Community Center ground. And those who watched the floats up close and personal at the Sri Krishna Mandir Camberville could not help but be bowled over by the sheer masterpieces created by our Guyanese brothers and sisters from across the country. And I think it was those who got the best vantage point by sitting on the seawalls who really were captivated by the artistry, the creativity, and the beauty of every single float that traversed that route to the LBI Community Center ground. For me, I think they are all winners, and I would like to specially congratulate each one of those that participated in this year's Diwali motorcade. I would like to say specially to those who came from very far and made a lot of sacrifice to travel, thank you, our heartfelt appreciation, and to everyone who crafted a float, who spent time, who invested, who made whatever preparation needed to be made to be here for the Diwali motorcades, the Gayana Hindu Dharmic Sabha expresses its deepest appreciation, its sincerest gratitude to all of you, especially to all those young people, hundreds of them, who sat atop the various floats depicting various deities and representations of Dipavali or Diwali. We say to you, you made us so proud because you looked not only so beautiful, but you looked so serene and happy to be part of what is considered one of the largest celebrations in this part of the world whenever there is Diwali. I trust that those who enjoyed looking at and viewing those floats, you would have taken away some really wonderful memories of this year's Diwali Motrikade 2019. So first off, I'd like to say congratulations to those who won in this year's Diwali Motrikade. For me, it's not only about the winning, though. For me, it's the fact that you participated in something that brought so, many, so much joy to the hearts of so many people who viewed the Diwali Motrikade. I saw children's faces lighting up as they saw the first floats. I saw families clapping their hands in delight as the floats passed them. And when the floats got to the LBI Community Center ground, I was at the perfect spot on the stage speaking. So I was not only marveling at the mammoth crowd that gathered at the LBI Community Center ground, but at the beauty of the floats as they entered the LBI community ground. And I want to say to you, you have really outdone yourself, all of you. I don't think it is fair to say anyone worked harder than anyone else. I think all of you worked so hard, did so much research, put so much into it. There was so much innovation and you took everything that it required to go the extra mile to bring such beauty to Diwali 2019 through the motorcade. So once again, on behalf of the Gayana Hindu Dharmic Sabha, I say dhaniwad, sincere thank you, heartfelt appreciation to all of you from where you came. Whether it was Essequibo, whether it was Kanji, whether it was West Coast Barbies, East Bank, West Bank, West Coast Demerara, East Coast Demerara, or Georgetown, we truly appreciated the magnificence that you created through each float. I'd also like to say that it would be remiss of me that if I did not say thank you to many people who contributed to this year's Diwali Motriki, to all our sponsors, our heartfelt gratitude, to the participants, the mandirs, the youth groups, to everyone who participated in the motorcade. Once again, thank you very much. To our distinguished panel of judges, which included Mr. Harry Parmesar, the chief judge, Dr. Frank Anthony, Mr. Ganesh Hira, attorney at law, Ms. Gayatri Bhairo Prasad, 
and Ms. Nirmala Juman Singh. Thank you so much. To the MC at the ground, the LBI Community Center ground, Ms. Ashwini Saran, thank you very much. And to all the musicians, singers, dancers who took part, thank you very, very much. And to Feel the Beat, Tasa as well. And to all those who work diligently before, during, and behind the scenes, heartfelt, sincere thank you, special thank you to executive members Savitri Sukai, one of the drivers of the Diwali Emojicade in terms of sponsorship and arrangements, and sincere thank you to Mr. Michael Siram, who worked above and beyond the call of duty to get the LBI Community Center ground ready for parking, for booths, and for all the things that needed to happen on the day. This year, we were back at the LBI Community Center ground, and I want to thank Mr. Anand Sanasi and the Guyana Cricket Board for facilitating us this year. They are doing a lot of work there, and we had serious limitations, but thanks to the combined efforts and Mr. Siram's diligent work, supported by many people who assisted in one way or another, Mr. Suresh, Jagmohan, and Bhaiji Puran, and a few other people, it got ready in time for the day. I'd also like to say thank you to Double Day, Sun and Double Day, and to Mr. Leonard Shim of Traveler's Song for providing those facilities so that we could have had a beautiful stage program and a comfortable venue. I think it is time for you to enjoy this year's Diwali Mochikid as you look and marvel at the beautiful floats I will be giving you the results. I'd also like to say though before I do that that there were some excellent innovations. There was the use of water in many of the floats and there were many engineering structures that were put up and they had wings, they had all kinds of things and I'd like to especially say how very impressed we were that good social messages were being given, one specifically on breast cancer by the Sevak Satsang Mandir and I hope that the young people who participated on that float understand how how good we felt to see that these messages were being given to the large crowd along the route and at the ground. Thousands of people thronged and watched this year's Diwali Motikade. A special prize was given to that Mandir for that message. I'd also like to congratulate those who braved very difficult challenges and made sacrifices to be there and to be part of the Motikade. But it's not only the floats. During today's program, you will be able to see a little bit maybe if not this week next week behind the scenes of what it takes to get the floats ready so that you can see what you see on the day do enjoy this look at the marvelous most magnificent spectacular diwali motrikade 2019 brought to you by the Ghana hindu dharmic sabha <laughs>
स्नाल सुरगज सुरदीर्घिकाया शुंदोधिताब्ज विलस नूर्ण संतिषते गृह मुखे तव भक्तवर्य श्रीदेवी लक्ष्मी भवतात तव सुप्रभात वाश्रिता जगति पुण्य फल समस्त संप्रापनुते तदनु मोक्ष पदम प्रविंते श्रित मधुसूदन माश्रित सन्ीदेवी लक्ष्मी भवता तव सुप्रभात संप्रत्यहो मनुज बुद्धिरतीव दुष्टा संपत्लाय कुरुते खलु दुष्ट यत्ना संस्कार्यता जननी हमुद्धरे श्रीदेवी लक्ष्मी भवता तव सुप्रभात कटाक्ष प्रेम भांडार रूपा सकल विमल संपत्तिपा च लक्ष्मी लसत मम हृद से पूर्ण बोधात्मनासा दिशत चुवि सर्वं योग्य मंति कंच युत 
विकिरणी झलके हा टकवाती पीयूष रस पाणी माणिक दशना सुरंग दासन मृग नयनी शशिधर वदना राजस मदना ची जननी जय देवी जय देवी जय देवी जय देवी जय महालक्ष्मी बस सीता पकरू पे तू स्थूल सूक्ष्मी जय देवी जय देवी महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहे तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहे तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहि तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहि तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहि तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहि तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहि तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहि तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहि तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहि तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहि तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहि तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहि तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहि तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहि तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहि तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहि तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहि तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहि तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात महालक्ष्मी च विद्महे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमहि 
तन्नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदयात me enjoy the sight, the view, and you will take away fond moments of this year's Diwali Motorcade 2019. In addition to the floats, I think the crowd marveled at the beautiful stage program held at the LBI Community Center Ground, and there were performances from some of the most outstanding artists in Guyana, including Sukrani Budu, Rekha Mahabir, Arti Sukai Kelawan, Suraj Singh, Naveen Ruplal, Richie Hansraj, and members of the Farishte Dance Group and the Dharmic Sang from Trinidad and Tobago. There was Keshav, and also our musicians were both from Trinidad and Guyana, Kevin Khan, and Mayank Rangoli from Trinidad and Tobago and from Guyana, Dr. Chedi, and Naveen Ruplal, Kevin, and Suraj Singh. A beautiful, beautiful evening of music and dance, prize giving, and our judges and Excellency High Commissioner of India, along with myself, gave away those prizes. Remarks were made by the High Commissioner of India, and the MC for the evening was Ms. Ashwini Saran. Here is a look of some of the highlights of this year's Diwali program held at the LBI Community Center Ground. <laughs>
performances put together by the Guyana Hindu Dhamik Sabha and for me and my colleagues we are very happy to note that in Guyana the distinctive Indian culture Indian origin heritage is being celebrated by people of all ethnic origins and this symbolizes the unity of this wonderful country. Today, I would like to also communicate to all of you that even though across the world this festival is celebrated by the Hindus, the Jains, the Sikhs and the Buddhists, which are some of the world's oldest religions, we extend this festival to signify, to celebrate life's blessings, the victory of knowledge over ignorance, and at the same time, it's also a festival, it's also a time for prayer and contemplation to reflect on our, on our obligations to help our fellow hum human beings and to those people who are particularly less fortunate. One more thing I would like to communicate tonight, which my Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi gave a call last month itself, is to call upon all the people across the country and across the world to honor our daughters and celebrate their achievements during Diwali. Come, this Diwali, let us celebrate the skills and strengths of our daughters, our sisters, and our mothers, what we call Nari Shakti. In our rich Indian tradition, we have always respected women as goddesses, especially during Dashera, Diwali. It's all about worshipping the primeval goddess, goddess Shakti. I wish you all once again a very happy Diwali. I'm very happy to see such a huge crowd and I would like to congratulate Dr. Vindya Prashad and her team and the Guyana Hindu Dharmic Sabha for having got together to get this wonderful program in this wonderful country of Guyana. Thank you.
I trust you've been enjoying the Diwali highlights as I share them with you on today's program of Kalamilan. And I hope you will continue to tune in to more programs coming up in the month ahead. Lots of things. On the 12th of November, the Hindu world observes Kartik Snan, Kartik Purnima. This is a special day dedicated to Ganga Puja and the worship of Ganga Ma. It is observed on full moon day in the Hindu month of Kartik. That's why we say Kartik Purnima. Especially for this occasion, the Ghana Hindu Dharmic Sabha will be hosting Kartik Satsang and Arti at the Kitty Foreshore, and this is between 4.30 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. in the evening. Come out and enjoy a beautiful, beautiful Arti and Kirtan. Our pundits will all be there, and there will be so much for you to participate in and enjoy. I hope that you will join the Gayana Hindu Dharmic Sabha this year for Kartik Satsang as well as Arti, and that's as we observe Kartik Snan. In addition, the Ghana Hindu Dharmic Sabha hosts Kala Utsawar Festival of Art. This brings young people together from across the country and they take part in various categories, including music, dance, kirtan, Ramayan chanting. This year, the Khand is Ayodhya Khan. Kala Utsaw will be held as it is usually held at the Dharmakendra in Prashadnagar on Sunday, 24th of November. So the starting time of this is 10 a.m. You're all invited. Admission is absolutely free. We look forward to you spending the day with us and applauding, encouraging, and motivating the hundreds of young people who will participate in Kala Utsaw 2019 from across the country. But before they get to the final Utsaw, which will be held on Sunday, November 24th, they have to go through the preliminaries. So I suggest if you're a budding musician, singer, dancer, you chant the Ramayana beautifully, you sing Kirtan, or you play Tasa, you find out from your various prants when and where the preliminaries will be held so that you can participate and be a part of this year's Kala Utsaw. I hope that you've been practicing and that we can spot some more great talent. Some of the most outstanding of our artists have come through Cloud Cell and they have emerged and blossomed, in, blossomed into fine musicians, singers and dancers. We want to see what's your talent. We want to encourage you and maybe if it is possible we want to send you on for further training. So make sure you participate in this year's Cloud Cell 2019, the final Sunday 24th of November. We'll all be there to cheer you won. It was definitely my pleasure joining you on today's program of Kala Milan. I hope that you will continue to tune in and before I take your leave, let me remind you that the Ghana Hindu Dharmic Sabha's calendars are widely available. If you're in Georgetown, pick them up at Harry Narayan and Sons Red Mango on Rob Street or the Dharmic Kendra in Prashadnagar or from any member of the Ghana Hindu Dharmic Sabha. Get them from our various brands across the country at the regular locations. The price is just $500 and you will find many, many dates in the calendar, all the Hindu dates and all the activities of the Ghana Hindu Dharmic Sabha. It is at this time I take my leave and I wish you a beautiful, blissful week ahead. And I leave you with the motto, Karma Neva Dikaristi Ma Pale Shukadachana, Action Thy Duty, Reward Not Thy Concern. Namaskar.